Hi, my name is Maria and I'm a mathematician and today I'm going to tell you how to graph a compound inequality. So there are two different kinds of compound inequalities. There's or inequalities and and inequalities. So we'll go ahead and do or first. If you've got an or inequality, compound inequality, such as x is less than negative 2 or x is greater than or equal to 4. Whenever you see the word or, that's your hint that your inequality is going to graph in two different directions. So let's go on a number line, and you're simply going to graph the first one and then graph the second one independently of each other. So I'm going to throw zero in the middle to balance us out, and we're going to go to negative two. And since there's no line underneath the inequality, that means we're at an open circle on negative two. And now I'm looking for all the numbers that are less than negative two, which are going to be to the left. So I'm shading those. All right. Now for the second inequality, x is greater than or equal to 4. So I'm going to go to 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm putting a closed circle on 4 because of that line underneath the inequality. And all the numbers that are greater than 4 are over to the right. So that shades this way. So this is the graph of all numbers where x can be less than negative 2 or x can be greater than or equal to 4. It's the union of these two inequalities. That's how you graph an or. Now an and is going to be a little different. An and inequality becomes the intersection of two different inequalities. So if I say to you, x is greater than 3 and x is less than or equal to 6. Now what I'm doing, put my zero a little to the left, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm graphing x is greater than 3 with an open circle on 3 because there's no line underneath. But I'm only going to graph it up until the 6 because my boundary is that x is less than or equal to 6. So on 6, I'm going to put a shaded circle because of the line underneath. And I'm going to shade in between these two because that's the intersection of these two inequalities separately. So this shows me that x can be greater than or equal to 3 and it has to be, I'm sorry, greater than 3, and it has to be less than or equal to 6. So and inequalities will graph as an intersection, or inequalities will graph going in opposite directions. And that's how you graph compound inequalities.